All right, first off, I'm gonna show you the male red claw, if I can get him up. Big ones are a little harder to, big, a little harder to handle. There we go. So you can get a uh, good view of the red patches on his claws. Definitely indicates a male. That's not always the case. They're sexually mature males that um, the patch hasn't came in yet and you know definitely give you a false um, sexing of the crayfish. So let's go to the back side here. On the fourth set of walking legs, so one, two, three, four. Fifth set, if you want to count his main claws, so that'd be one, two, three, four, five. Right here, you can see that would be the male's genitalia, the little, um, that's his reproductive glands, you know, right there. Trying to get a good angle on it. You can see how they protrude out little nodules right there. Um, that definitely indicates it's a male. Has nothing to do with a set of claspers down here on like the Allen eye or the Clark eye. So it's definitely right here is the indication of a male on sex in him and the red claws. You know, so this is a big guy here. I'm gonna say he's probably quarter pound or so. Um, eight to nine months old. So that's a good example of a male there. And I'll put him back and grab the female. All right, so now we have a female. You can see no red patches on her claws. You know, it's just a good quick visual indication that you have a female. Uh, let me spin her around here. And then on the walking legs. So one, two, three. You can see right here, right above my thumb, those two little circles. That's the female's genital openings there. That's where she releases her egg pack from and then it moves down and she grows the eggs out on her tail. As you can see, there's no little nodules right here. So, you know, this is an indication here that as a female, no red claws, along with the two circles on the inside of her third set of legs, you know, indicates that she's a female. This is a big girl here. She's a couple years old. Um, and you can get a good visual over there. You know, she's probably 100 gram female, produce around a thousand eggs, you know, once she, um, when she breeds. So I'm gonna put her back and I'm gonna grab some um, electric blue crayfish, grab a couple of um, Al and I for you to take a look at. All right guys, got a couple of electric blue crayfish in the, in the tub now, P. Al and I, scientific name. Hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. I'm gonna show you how to sex one of those completely different from the red claw, the Cherax species. So let's take a look. All right, first off, here's a little female. And she's an adult female, one of my breeders that I have on the farm. Um, first thing you can see is her claws. It's one indication they're more lobster-like, you know, bigger, bulkier than the males. And then you can look underneath here. Let me uh, let me get her claws out of the way. I don't want to get bitten. All right, so you can look underneath here and you see the lack of her, her claspers. Um, you know, it's definitely more defined on the male, you know, but you see nothing on the bottom here in a V shape that's going up between her last set of walking legs. Let me grab the male and I can show you the difference. All right, so this is the male. You can see right here, see the V? This is his claspers right here. That's indicating a male. And you can see the female, make sure they don't grab each other. You can see the female doesn't have them. You know, so that's definitely a difference. And then you can see the claws are a lot different. He's got longer claws. They're skinnier, not as um, robust maybe, um, but they're definitely longer. You know, that's just a good starter visual on sexing, you know, Alanese or Clark eyes. Even my CPOs, um, you sex them the same way from the bottom, you know, looking for the male's claspers down here on his tail. 
um, that's how you, that's how I sex those guys as well, you know, so, hope you enjoy the video, you know, so, there'll be more to come in the future, if you have any other questions, you know, please don't hesitate to ask, thank you.